Hey guys, Kyle Torak here. I've been doing some solo princess runs and wanted to show you. Um, I do not have Scepter, so I am running in from the purple side. Obviously, if you have Scepter, it is faster, but if you do not have it yet, here is how you can get to uh, Princess and Farmer. Um, okay. Uh, I am doing the run as in the kill phase as Deep Frost, but if you have multi-spec, you might want to uh, have an off-spec for fire for the kill phase. I feel like fire might be better for killing her, but yeah. Alright, so right now our goal is just to get to the waterfall. Um, it is a pretty easy run, to be honest. Um, your goal is to just blink tactif tactically and um, aggro through as mob as possible. It's honestly really simple. Getting to her is the easy part. Killing her is the hard part right now. Once our gear is better and she's easier to kill, like this will be a joke farm to do. Misplaced this time the blink, so it wasn't perfectly placed. Get him over here. We're still really good on mana, so you just keep running. We're going to turn right up here. Do a better job at avoiding mobs than me. Bad blink. Now these mobs do eventually gain the move speed bonus as well as the um, immunity to slows and stuns. So you really have to be kind of quick with getting to the waterfall because eventually the mobs will catch up to you. Um, I have not yet had them catch up to me, um, but I've seen them zooming. So... Keep running. Getting up this part's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, so just be careful with how you're jumping. Like that. Do that. Don't mess up your blink here. Um, you need over 600 HP for this fall, or you will die. Like four or 500 HP, I don't know. Hug the left. Don't aggro more mobs. And as you can see here, like I. I got here very poorly. Um, I was aggroing every mob. I blinked poorly a couple times. Had one half blink. Um, and here, yeah, we're fine. Do not aggro this boss. So this is how. This is the one way you can die running from purple boss. Uh, purple side is if you aggro this boss. And I'm not talking about like aggroing him with a body. If the mobs behind you aggro him, um, and you jump down this waterfall, he will teleport you to him. And he will kill you, so... Obviously, um, you do not want to aggro that boss. You want to get to this waterfall as fast as possible. Once you do drop down, they can no longer chase you. They're like, pathing is disrupted, so they will reset. And for those that don't know, if you have Princess's Scepter, this is where teleporting with her Scepter takes you. This spot right here. So, if you're doing the Scepter teleport, do note that um, this is where your run will be starting from here. So no, let's just say, okay, you've done your purple run, now you're at Scepter, and then, or you've done your Scepter teleport, and now you're ready to start your Princess run. So what do we do from here? It's actually pretty simple. Again, getting to her is the easiest part. Um, there is a reset point right beside her that is brain dead easy to get to at level 50. I do have Swiftness Plots on me. I do not need them. I brought them just in case, and I have not needed them to get to the safe spot once. So. Alright, so I've stopped trying to blink past these guys. I always aggro them every time. Oh my god, I didn't aggro them. Okay. Every time I've gone this, I've aggroed those guys, so I just got in the habit of knowing them. 
but it looks like we don't need to do that. Gonna go ahead and over there. Get a new barrier up. We are going to Kona Cold these guys. And then blink. Lost our shields there, but that's fine. All right, that guy's patrolling up to the right. This guy's patrolling back this way. All right, we're probably gonna have to nova these ones yet. Get a new ice barrier. Now, this is where you would want to use your swiftness pod if you're struggling getting there. Ooh, I missed that cone of cold. That was bad. If you're struggling with getting there, I would use the swiftness pot right here just to get past these uh, behemoths as fast as possible. They honestly aren't a big deal, though. You can just straight up blink through the first set. You will aggro the right set. But these guys don't hit hard at all. Like, these guys are really big babies. Um, hug the right going here. You will aggro them. But, again, big babies. Can know with these guys. Gonna blink through these last two. And this is the reset spot. You don't even have to jump. You just walk up it. Oh, look. Mobs are evading. Such difficult. Much wow. But yeah, getting the princess. Super easy. As you can see here, I was not efficient. I was really sloppy. And I still got here in, what, six minutes? Seven minutes? So seven minutes to get the princess. And there we go. Mobs reset. Okay, so for the kill phase... um. She's super hard. Um, you re it's really just like a race to get her. I don't know the exact percent. Maybe it's 30%, 35%. But at some point when she's taken enough damage, um, she starts running slower. And when she's running slower, she's one, in your living flames a lot longer. But two, um, you can outrange her rock throw, which is the real problem. And you just never in danger of taking damage anymore. So, the goal is to get her to moving slow as fast as possible before you oom um and die. Um, now, one thing of note here. I feel like I'm missing a buff of spirit, yeah. Um, gnomes swim right here. So, um, if you're kiting her, gnomes don't run through here. And don't accidentally hit the reset spot, too. I healed her to full once, and that sucked. So... Okay, so for the kill phase, again, we are just going to open with a Frost Firebolt into a Frost Firebolt into a Living Flame, Living Bomb, and we are running. We're going to get hit by this first boulder. That's fine, but we're going to blink it. Now, do not worry about the turtles. If the turtles aggro, they reset, like, almost immediately. I've never even taken damage from a turtle while doing this. Do I need to blink? I probably did not need to. Cool. Oh, I reapplied that one living bomb before the explosion went off, so loss of damage. Do not hit the reset point, because she will heal. I was so freaking pissed last night when I, I literally jumped on that rock for like two sec like a half like a half second and she healed the full. Gonna blink this rock throw. New living flame. New living bomb. Am I gonna get hit by that rock throw? I put a barrier up, I didn't need to though. Boulder, perfect. And that's what this is the ideal situation where she's bouldering when she's like already max distance, so you can just like continue to kite like this. Um, it's like just brain dead simple, guys. Alright, don't get hit by that boulder. We did not. Perfect. Gonna go ahead and blink. Get a new living bomb on her. Do not clip the reset spot.
I blink that one. I'm gonna go ahead and mana pot. My next Jade's almost up. And it's really hard to get an Evocate off when she's fast, too. So, when she's slowed, you can get a full Evocate off. Oh my god, my Living Flame did no damage to her. Holy shit. My Living Flame literally just... That Living Flame literally did zero damage to her there. Alright, we need a... Uh, a Rock Throw Blink. A Boulder Blink. There we go. Perfect. So that's, what, I guess, another thing is make sure your Living Flame's lined up through her so she at least runs through the path you're taking it through because... Yeah, that was unfortunate. And again, it happened again! It happened again! Oh, okay, she took some Living Flame damage because she was casting Boulder there, but holy crap. Maybe that's the play, is wait for her to cast Boulder and then Living Flame. Okay, get ready for next blink. Blink. Okay. There's a boulder. She's going to be taking some living flame damage there that time at least. Hell yeah. Like the uptime of living flame with the move speed reduction and shit is just so bad. We're doing good so far though. We almost got our next health mana pot up. Um, it's really just whittling her down. Slowly but surely. We're definitely going to have to blink here. Are we dead? Whew. We got dust fielded there. Holy crap. That's my first dust field. Oh, I should have evocated there. That was a mistake on my end for sure. I should have definitely evocated during that dust field. Um, I went for a frostfire bolt for extra damage. If we can get her slowed though, it'll be fine. So uh, I think I should have evocated there though. I'm gonna go ahead and mana pot. We got fire blast off since we got the clear casting. Go ahead and blink. She should be getting slowed soon. Please, living flame, do some damage for once. Oh, <laughs> Not like one tick. Uh, the new living flame is like the worst spell in the game right now. It's so freaking bad. I don't know what Blizzard was thinking. You have, like, Rhett Paladins and Shamans one-shotting people in PvP, but Living Flame is too overpowered because dumb people stand in it too long. Now we're starting to get a little oom. Oops, I did not mean to Arcane Explosion there. Oh, my Living Flame resisted. Perfect. Alright, let's get a couple ticks of Evocate off. Don't die. As you can see... She's like a lot easier to kite now. Um, I also have not been utilizing Ice Block to uh, avoid boulder throws. So you can obviously like Ice Block, be fine. Just like that. As you can see, it's a super long kill phase. We're at about uh, 13 minutes since the pull started. Did not mean to take damage there. All right, we're gonna run straight back so she is in this living flame as long as possible. And I'm just being safe. I got my next mana pot up soon. I'm not risking anything. Um, she's one of those mobs that like has that built up internal wind fury auto attack crap. So if you get an auto attack range of her ever, you are getting one shot. Like you're just going to get insta gibbed. She's got like thrash build up. I forget what the actual mechanics called. Maybe it is thrash. Um, so yeah. This might be greedy, but we're going for it. Nice. So when she's slowed like this, you can just like kind of pump into her. Just make sure you save mana and blink. Let's see if I can get a, uh, a Frostfire Bolt off. And she should die here. And that's how you solo Princess. No, all I got is this and a helmet. But, hey, we can solo her. 
We can definitely solo her. And to reset, just jump into the water and log out. A nice 14 minute reset. Okay, so as you can see here, you can uh, log out in the water to get teleported back out to the purple side, and then you're back in and back out. So yeah, um, pretty easy to solo uh, in our current gear. It just takes a bit of uh, mana management. Um, might be better to do that as fire as well, but yeah, that's how you solo princess. Good luck on getting your daggers, boys.